Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another Elementor Design Tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how you can design our coming soon page only using the Elementor Builder. Before launching our website, we need to set a coming soon page for our website or sometimes when we need to do some development work, that time also we need to enable this coming soon page options. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a coming soon page like this only with the Elementor page builder. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started. After installing Elementor from dashboard, I'm going to Elementor and going to tools. Then I have to go to the maintenance mode. And now if I choose the option, so here is two options I will find. Here is coming soon and the maintenance mode. We can enable any one, but the maintenance mode is not good for SEO and the coming soon mode is good for SEO because when we enable the coming soon mode, our URL still will be indexing by Google. So I'm going to set the coming soon and from here we have to set a template. So before selecting the template, I have to create a new template. So for that, I'm going to the templates and here I'm going to add new and choose template type. So from here, I'm selecting a default page and template name. Here we can type anything. I'm typing coming soon and create template. And now for this page, we don't need this header area or footer area. So I'm going to the settings and page layout. So this time I'm selecting the canvas mode. And now I'm getting a full blank page. So now I'm going to start a design from scratch. So for that, going to add new section. And here I'm taking a full column structure and going to edit section and here you can set a height. So for that here I'm selecting the full screen and for this section I'm going to add a background color going to style tab and here background type this time I'm selecting the gradient color and the first color I'm selecting a dark color. We can select any color and the second color we can keep the pink color or this pink and here you can set the angle to like this and first I'm changing the start location and the end location and now I'm changing the angle and also changing the first location And now if we check the full screen mode, it's working like this or here we can change the angle more. So now if we check, so it's working like this. Alright, so now I'm going to add some text. So first I'm going to take a heading text. And now changing the text to coming soon. Alignment to center and style tab changing the color to white and font typography here I'm changing the text to poppins and here we can change the font size font weight you can set 500 or 600 and in the similar way going to some more text and here I'm going to increase the text and now I'm changing the text alignment. So for that going to style tab alignment to center and text color also changing it to the white. And here I want to add some spacing in the left and right side. So for that we can add some padding in left and right. So going to advanced tab and from padding first making it to unlink and right side I'm adding 150 and left side 150 and next here I want to add some number counter so for that again going to this icon and here I'm searching for counter so now I'm going to add these widgets and this is coming from our Elementor Pro version so if you still did not get Elementor Pro I will also leave the download link for Elementor Pro in my description so you can check it from there and after activating Elementor Pro 
you will get these options available for our design and now I'm taking this one and in the similar way here I'm going to add some padding for left and right so going to advanced tab from padding first making it to unlink for right side we can add 200 and left side 200 and now I'm going to changing this numbers design so going to style tab and here is the box option so we can set the background color for each number so from here i'm changing the color to white and here is the content i'm changing the digit color to this pink color and the level we can change it to this dark blue and now i'm changing the font family so for the first one changing the font family to poppins and font weight making it to bold and we can also decrease the font size and also this text so going to the level and typography and here similar way changing the font family to poppins and font weight making it to 500 and here if we want to change the box height so going to boxes and here is the padding option so we can also change the padding and here we can also decrease or increase the spacing between this and for this whole area i think we can increase the padding for left and right if i check the full screen view so it looks like this so going to advanced tab and here i'm adding 250 and finally in the bottom area here we can add a button or we can add a form for subscription so for that again going to this icon and this time i'm going to search for a form and here i have to select this form this is coming from our elementor pro version i'm taking this one and from here i'm going to remove the name and the message field so removing the name and message and here I'm keeping only the email field and this button first hiding the levels and going here going to email column width for this one I'm changing the column width to 60% and for this button column width I'm making it to 40% and for the sent text here I'm changing this button text to notify me and changing this button color so going to style tab and here is the button for background color i'm changing this color to this pink color and also going to change the input field style so going to field and text color i'm changing this color to dark blue and typography i'm changing the font family to poppins and we can also change the font size and now I'm going to change the input field style to the similar as this button we can make it to the round shape so for that border radius we can change it to 50 and now we need to add some spacing in left for this input field but here I'm not finding any options so here I will add a single line of CSS code so for that first I'm going to save this page and now if I go to the view page and now if I select this input field right click and going to inspect and here you can see here is the form field ID so on the right side I'm going to add new rule and here I'm adding padding left 10 pixel or here I'm adding 30 pixel and now going to copy rule and going to my builder going here going to advanced tab and here we'll find the custom CSS options and simply paste our CSS code and now we can see it's working fine and now in the similar way for this whole widgets I'm going to add some spacing in left and right so for that from here advanced tab padding and here I'm going to add some padding for left and right 
so going to making it unlink and left side or right side i'm adding 250 and left side 250 or here I'm making it to 270 okay looks good and finally here we can decrease the spacing between these widgets so for that going to edit column and from layout widget spacing I'm making it to 0 and now I'm adding some more spacing top of this form so going here and advanced tab from margin making it to unlink and in top area adding 30 pixel or 25 so we are almost done and in the bottom area here we can add some social icons so again going here and searching for social taking these widgets and here alignment center is okay and we can change the color so going to style tab and color this is now official we can make it to custom and the primary color i'm making it to transparent and here icon size i am decreasing the size and here if we want to add more social icons so just click on this add item and here we can change our icon to a new one and we can add the social link from here for now i am removing it and now i am going to move these icons to the bottom area of this section so for that going to advanced tab and if I scroll down here is the positioning here I am selecting the position to absolute and now I am making the vertical orientation making it to the bottom and changing the offset alright so looks good now and for this form here I need to explain one more thing how we can integrate this to our MailChimp so if I go to the form and going to content here is the action after submit so here by default the email option and the collect submission we can add here one more options like mailchimp or convert kit or any email subscription website so for now if i check the mailchimp and then we can see a new tab will show under this tab so here is the mailchimp and from here we have to set the api key so to set the api key if i go to the integration page from here just click here in a new tab and from this page we have to set the api key here is the mailchimp option so here we have to set the api key for our mailchimp and after adding the api key from here we can set the audience list and then finally save changes so our desktop version is done and finally I'm going to check the responsive view so for that in the bottom left corner here is the responsive mode and first this is the desktop here is the tablet and finally phone so going to the tablet and for tablet it looks good only this form field so here we can increase the form size so for that we have to decrease the padding so going to advance and padding first making it to unlink and from left i'm adding 200 and here 200 or i'm making 150 from both side so it looks good for tablet and here we can also decrease the font size for tablet so going to style tab and typography we can set the font size to 12 or 13 looks good for tablet and finally the social icon position so from advanced tab and positioning we can change the offset for tablet looks good and going to the phone view so here first going to the edit section and going to add some padding in top and bottom going to advance padding making it to unlink for top i'm adding 50 pixel and bottom 50 this text changing the font size making it to 35 or 30 and for this text we can remove the padding from left and right going to advance and making it to unlink so now it's zero for left and right and then going to this counter option and here we can decrease the font size for these numbers and text so going to style tab and content 
changing the typography for digits i'm making it to 20 or 22 and the another text level text i'm changing it to 16 or i'm adding 14 pixel and now we can decrease the padding and space between so first going to advanced tab and making the padding to zero and now we can decrease the spacing between this so going to style tab and we can set the padding to zero and space between also zero or here we can add some little spacing like five pixel and here we can set the top padding only to 10 or making it to unlink and for top and bottom we can set 15 pixel top and 15 pixel bottom and finally the form field going here first removing the padding from left and right so making it to unlink and here it's showing like this so i think we can keep this style for phone view so here we can add some padding for phone view left and right for the right side adding 10 pixel and right side 10 pixel i think we can keep it like this and finally the social so first we can add some more padding in bottom area so going to edit section advanced tab and from bottom we can add 150 and now if i go to the social icons advanced tab and positioning and from here we can adjust the positioning and it looks good and in the top area we can increase the padding so i'm making it to 80 pixel and now finally if i check again the tablet looks good and the desktop if i hide the panel from the left side so this is the desktop view final version here is the tablet and here is the phone and finally i'm saving this page so our page design is done and now i'm going to set this page to our coming soon page so again going to the dashboard and from elementor and tools going to maintenance mode and from here choose mode i'm selecting the coming soon and choose template selecting the coming soon template and save changes so we can see our maintenance mode is on and now if i go to our home page so we can see this website is showing and now if i go to copy the url and now if i check in the private window you can see our coming soon page is showing so that's all for today if you want to add more style for this coming soon page like if you want to add any background image or background video or anything as you want you can also do that so for now i'm done for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video